Hello and welcome back to Up The Villa podcast. This is Transfer Hub, your home of Aston Villa's transfer news, noise, links, you name it. You'll find it here on this channel. And today we've got a good one. Adrian Rabio from Juventus is linked with a move to Aston Villa, who is a free agent in June. And I'm all over this one. Get those long locks to Villa Park. What a player he is, and I'd just be really excited to see him. I think it would be a player that would massively improve Aston Villa. I think he's got a wealth of experience on the highest stage, and I think he's been there and done it and would add a calming yet explosive slash dynamic feel to Aston Villa's left-hand side. So this rumour is coming from Mirko Di Natale, and he's bringing the rumour of Rabio coming to Aston Villa. So here we go then. So the rumour that we can see, Aston Villa thinks of Rabio, According to rumours gathered by tutojuve.com, Aston Villa, who want to strengthen his staff view of the Champions League, is thinking of Adrian Rabio expiring his contract with Juventus. Unai Emery, the coach, who coached him a few years ago at PSG, considers him an exemplary professional and a player of his qualities would always like to have in his teams. Uh, they've already inquired about him in unsuspected times by Munich, as anticipated, and Manchester United. But until the last, Adrian will give priority to the speeches with Juve, thus understand what the project will be with the new coach. So... I think he's a really good player. I think he's been predominantly playing on that left-hand side. Box-to-box -box midfielder. He's got height. He's got a presence. He's got physicality. He can finish. He can break through the lines really well. He can get into attacking areas as well. And when I look at the Aston Villa left-hand side of what we've had recently, so I always have kind of felt like we've yet to have a player that can tie down that left-hand side. Yes, we've had Jacob Ramsey, who's been out injured. We've seen McGinn being able to play over there as well. But this area here for me feels like an area that Unai Emery may want to improve during this window. The players that we've already got that can currently play in that position are Rodgers, McGinn and Ramsey. I think Ramsey's never really had competition for that place anyway. So with Rodgers coming in, he's now got that competition anyway. But that's an area in the team that I think we can maybe improve on. And what I would say about the window at this moment in time is that it's very, very early on. The window doesn't open till mid-June. So the players that we are going to start to be linked with at the moment are going to be those players that are out of contract in the summer. And I think some of the rumours that we might be seeing at the minute may be players that are in a position maybe that we want to improve or there may be a little bit of sounding out. But I think for now, the window is all about some of the players that are available as a free agent. So let's now take a little look then at how Rabio has been doing this season. So this season, he's got a sofa score rating of 7.23, which is above the seven mark, which I always go for on uh, transfer hubs. He's 29 years of age, left-footed. We know that Unai loves a left-footed player. His strengths are his positioning. You can see that on his heat map that he's predominantly playing on that left-hand side, where I think we could maybe see somebody coming in this window on that left-hand side for Aston Villa. He's played 31 games, started 30, scored five goals. He is averaging 1.2 shots per game, a 13% goal conversion rate, three assists. We are getting a accuracy per game of 84%. In his own half, 89%. In the opposition half, 79%. Tackles per game, 1.9. Ball recoveries per game, 4.8. We've seen successful dribbles at 57%. Total duels won, 57%. Ground jewels won at 56% and aerial jewels 58%. So those jewels being won are a big part of a characteristic that I feel like Aston Villa will be looking in the market for as well. Winning those battles, winning those jewels and having that little bit 
of a more physicality about the players that we're going for. One area as well that I feel like Aston Villa need to improve on is airily attacking the ball off set pieces and corners. And Rabio can do that. Rabio's got that presence to get on the end of stuff as well. So that's really uh, an interesting trait from Rabio. We can see some of his stats here per 90 as well. Progressive carries 2.71. We've got tackles 2.0, aerials 1, 1.82. So some of those are pretty, pretty decent, some of those stats. If we have a look at his career as well, his market value is at 40 million. So it's all going to be about signing on fee and wages with Rabio. We can see that he was at PSG with Unai Emery. And that is something that I think Unai may be looking to sign some players that he's worked with before. The big one, the big one that is on my radar is Bayana from Villarreal. I think he possibly as well could play on this left-hand side as well. And that's a, a position that I think we are definitely going to be looking at in this window. So I think Bayana, Rabio, two totally different players, but on that left-hand side and Rabio, you know, I really like his characteristics. Villa fans, I would love to know your thoughts on Rabio? 43 games he's played for France with four goals. So I think this is an exciting one. Decent rumour. I think it's a profile and a player that I would really like to see at Aston Villa. I think we are going to need some European elite calibre players who have been there and done it and played on that big stage. And yeah, we've got experience from, you know, last season of playing in the Conference League, but we know that the Champions League is a different beast altogether. Ross Barkley, the noise is still there. Really liking that one as well, I think. And one thing that I'll mention about the Barkley one is we were getting a lot of, we were getting a lot of comments of, oh, Champions League and we're going for Ross Barkley. What I will mention about this is let if we signed Ross Barkley at the end of the window and we'd signed our players that we were looking for for a decent fee, we would maybe look at that one in a little bit of a different way. The fact that it's the first one doesn't mean it's going to be the last one. So yeah, I really like that one. I think it's savvy. I think it is, you know, a squad. We need a squad. I think it's really important. And the other point that I'll make about some of the signs that we potentially could be making to utilise the squad as well is that if we go to the Bernabeu on a Tuesday, we are pretty much not going to be rotating our team in the Champions League. We go as strong as possible, which will then mean that maybe potentially on the Sunday in the Premier League, you might start to see a little bit of rotation with the squad. So that's something that I think we could bear in mind when we're thinking that we're trying to build a squad as well. Not every player that comes into Aston Villa is there to dislodge and replace a player that currently is a first name on the team sheet. It's all about having squad depth and utilising different characteristics for key moments when we might need that A given player. So, Rabio, I like it. It's one that, that has excited me. I think it's a player that I've watched for a number of years and always thought, you know, I like watching him. I like what he does. I like how he arrives late in the box as well. So, some other news. Gareth Southgate has announced his provisional squad for the Euros. And I've got to say, his credit has gone up a little bit. No Henderson, no Rashford. It's a start, Southgate. It is a start. And the two big ones for Aston Villa, Watkins and Consa, have been called up to the provisional squad. So I'm really buzzing about it. I'm proud about it. It's been a long time coming, especially for Consa. And that's just fantastic to see. Villa players linked and in the squad for England as well. So, yeah, I just wanted to, to finish off on that one. Me and Justin have had a great day today. We've been in London. We've been on the Ripple Effect with James Alcott. And we've had a fantastic day chatting, waxing lyrical, and hopefully, you know, pushing the Villa out there to 
telling our story from this season and what's been going on and, and how well we've been doing as a team. So, yeah, I couldn't be more proud every chance I get to speak about Aston Villa. So, Villa fans, if you've got this far, make sure you are subscribing. Make sure you are liking and commenting on all of our content. Up the Villa.